Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we are going to finish talking about the event emitter object. Uh, I believe we've talked about uh, most of the API so far, and today I plan to make the rest the subject of this video. And these functions that we are going to talk about today are the event names function, uh, the listener count function, and the listeners function. The event names function essentially just gives you an array of event names that have uh, listeners uh, listening for them. Uh, you have the listener count function, uh, which will give you uh, a, a number of uh, listeners that are listening for a particular event uh, that's provided here as an argument. And the listeners function, which will give you uh, the, the uh, an array of listeners. And uh, um, the listeners are essentially functions that you provided to listen to a particular event. And that particular event is provided here as an argument. So what uh, you have here, you've seen before, I'm pulling the event emitter object from the module, from the events module, uh, creating a class that extends it, and, uh, and I'm creating an instance of that class uh, that I'm going to be using throughout the program here. Creating a function that's going to be a listener to some event, uh, and as you can see, that's what's happening here. I'm creating, a, I'm, you know, subscribing to the data event a few times here, one, two, three. So I have three listeners for the data event, and I have one listener for the message event. Okay, so uh, we can go ahead and try these, emitter.emit. Okay, let's do a data event, just to make sure these are done properly, and, uh, and that there are no issues. So let's go ahead and emit a message message event. So if we run these, we should have all of the messages from these functions printed. And we got one, two, three, four, and they're all printed. All right, so let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and use these functions. Event names. Uh, so what that tells us, what that gives us is an array containing the names of the events that have listeners registered to listen to them. So let's go ahead and create a local variable here. Let's call it names. That's going to be the emitter that event names. Okay, so we're going to get an array here containing uh, the names of all the events. So let's console log that. names. Alright, so let's run this and see what we get. Alright, so we get an array containing data and message, which is correct because we have uh, the data event here and then the message event here. There are no other uh, events uh, uh, that have listeners registered. Alright, so that's one down. That's how you would use the, the event names function. All right, the other function we want to look into is the listener count function, which we will provide an event name and it will give us the count of the listeners. All right, so let's do that. Let's create a local variable here. Data count, let's call it that. And that's going to be emitter, that listener count. That's going to, let's provide a, say the data event. Okay, so what we expect here is to get three, right? Because we have three functions that are listening for this. So let's log them. Let's log that count, data count. All right, so we get uh, there are three listeners listening for the data event, uh, which is correct. That's what we have here. Uh, these three calls to uh, append the listener. All right, so what's the next function? The next function is the listeners function, and what we expect to get is an array of functions. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and do that for the data event. So let's create a local variable here. 
let's just call it lists and let's say that is equal emitter that listeners okay let's provide the event so that's the data event and let's go ahead and print that console.log all right so let's run this all right so this is what we're getting here we are getting uh, uh, an array of functions uh, you can see here you got uh, three functions one with a name and that's because we uh, did it uh, not as an anonymous function so that's why we're getting a name because it has a name all right so instead of uh, doing this one by one because uh, I plan on showing what the message one looks like as well for the message event uh, let's go ahead on that name just call uh, for each on names and uh, just do that all inside there so names that for each oops name set for each okay we're gonna get an element so what we want to do here and it's just log log something console log and what I want to know is how many listeners are for each of these events so I can say that for the, for an event name, okay, which is uh, element here. This element has a certain number of uh, a certain number of listeners. Let's provide the name, which is element. All right, so let's run this and see what we get for now. All right, so data has three, message has one. So we can add listeners here just to make it look correct. Okay, so the other, let's use a dir for that. So now we, we just want to print the, the array of listeners. And uh, all we have to do here is just get the emitter that uh, listeners. And here we want to provide the name, which is element. All right, so let's run this. All right, so as you can see here, data has three listeners and these are the functions uh, that are the listeners we got two anonymous function and a one with uh, uh, with a name uh, which is uh, right and message uh, has one listener okay and this is the function we're getting here which is m listener and if you look at message here it has a named function all right so this is the video guys uh, you we've looked at how to use event names to get the names of all the events uh, that have uh, listeners registered to them uh, on an emitter. Uh, listener count, which tells us uh, the number of listeners uh, that are listening for a particular event that we'll provide here as an argument. And listeners, uh, which will give us an array of listeners, an array of functions uh, that will fire when a particular event uh, is uh, emitted, uh, which is what we'll provide here. All right, guys, so... Uh, Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you uh, like the videos and would like to see more. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button if the videos are helping you. And uh, if you've got questions, go ahead and ask me in the comment section and I will respond. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.